The objective of this lesson is to teach you how to make a variance chart. It's what you see here below this blue chart. And this is very useful when you're comparing sales, for example, against projection or for finance graphs. So let's learn how to do this. In the lessons that are gonna come, I'm gonna show you other ways to do this chart using error bars and then using arrows. So to start, we have this blank sheet with this graph that comes from this data set. And in this data set, you have months, sales, and target. Now I want to have a graph that compares sales versus target. So I'm gonna add a column called Delta, and I'm gonna do sales minus target over target, and I'll get the percentage difference. So for example, here you are minus 17%. Then you drag it down, and then you have your percentages. Next, I'm gonna insert a chart. So I'm gonna select my months. Then I press control and I keep control pressed and I select my deltas. If this doesn't work for you, you can just bring the months and the delta next to each others and then you can select both data sets. Then you do insert and you will insert a bar chart. And here we go. We put the bar chart below and we're gonna start formatting it. First thing to do is to get rid of things that I don't want. So I don't want the title, I click on it, press delete on the keyboard. Same for this axis, I press delete on the keyboard. Same for the grid lines, here you go, delete. Next, we want to get rid of this Jan, Feb, March, etc. So if we click here on this axis and we delete, we lose the line and this is not what I want. So in order to fix this, I click on it here, you right click, format access. And again, if you're not managing to click, you can go here and you'll have some of the elements of your charts. And then under access, you go here, you have tick marks. So tick marks, you have none. And then under it, you have label next to access, you do none. So make sure that both those two things are none. And then you get rid of Jan, Fab, etc. Now for the line, if I select again my axis uh, here, I can go to the bucket and I can make the line in black so it looks a bit better. Next, I'm gonna make my chart a bit smaller so it looks nicer with this and I need to color the bars. So I'm gonna click on those bars, I go to the bucket, I color using this color for example. The problem I have is that the negative values are also colored in green. So to fix this, I click again, I go to the bucket, and here I have invert if negative. When I click on invert if negative, I'm gonna get another bucket here. So I can select, for example, this red color, and as you can see, my negative values are in red. Now, the next thing we need to do is to add the labels. So we click on the plus, and we do data labels. So those are the labels. Then we need to get rid of this border. So I select, right click, format chart area. Then I have no fill, no border, gone. Last thing I want to do is I want to color those positive values in green and those negative values in red. So I need a little bit of coding here. I go right click, select my data labels, I do format data labels. Then I go here at the bottom, I have number, and I remove this general. So I'm gonna put a condition. So you open a bracket, and you write green. Easy, right? Then you write 0%. What does it mean? It means I want to have a percentage without any decimal point. Then semicolon, don't forget the semicolon. Then you write red, and then you write 0%. Same thing, and then semicolon. So what will happen is the first thing before the semicolon is for positive numbers and the second thing before semicolons is for negative numbers. Then you have kind of the zeros and lastly the text. So we're not using the third and the fourth condition here. We're only using the first two. So if you use this, you can play with it. But if you click on add, as you can see, I get green and red colors. Now this red and green are not nice. 
So I could go on the internet here and write Excel color code. I'll get uh, some website. I can go to this website. Then I go down. As you can see, I have different colors. So color 10 is like this green and color 9 is this red. So I go back to my Excel. I click here again. I go down number and I can replace instead of green here. You do color 10. And instead of red, you do color 9. And then you get your new colors. And here we go. This is our chart.